Hello and welcome Pisces. This is your October 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I love my coffee and I would appreciate a coffee every now and then because it's a free service. <laughs> here we go. What we will do here, we will look into, uh, or we will divide the reading slightly into, into sections or areas so it's a bit easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy of the month of October for the sign of Pisces before we then look into your emotional core. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of uh, October for your very sign. Now, I'm a Pisces and I have to say this apparently is going to be a bloody awesome month because I just read this out to you what we got and then explain it to you. In the field of overall energy we have happiness. In the field of emotional core we have success and in the field of opportunities we have pleasure. Happiness, success, pleasure. Can't get any better than this. So here's how this works. We're looking at the overall energy for the month of October and we have happiness. When I say we, it's because I'm a Piscean like, too. So we have happiness. Claim happiness. Have the highest energy you can see. And if things, if, if things get tough, if life is hard, always use and, 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 and ask for and claim the highest possible energy. Allow yourself to be happy even in the face of difficulties, right? Pisces, we are the sign of the dreamer. So let's dream, dream big, right? Be lighthearted about things, you know, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Nobody asks you not to worry, <laughs> but you understand that, that worrying sometimes doesn't, doesn't get you anywhere. Um, and it sometimes just takes away the fun of the day. You have happiness in the overall energy, which means you can expect October to be bloody marvelous, right? Okay, and then when it comes to your emotional core, whether or not this is about love for you or about trauma that needs to go, you have success. And that means no more hiding. You know, you will be successful in whatever it is you want to do, right? Have a bit of faith and remember who you are, right? If you, if you acknowledge that you're awesome, it is easier to manifest awesome situations. Really, really important. But success is yours when you allow yourself to also let go of things that have to be overcome. I'm not saying it's a super easy month necessarily, especially when it comes to your emotions. Um, by default, Pisceans, we are super emotional, if that makes sense. We're also governed by Neptune, um, you know, which is a, a, you know, the god of the seas. Water is renewed. Here's the sacred medicine, right? And traditionally speaking, Jupiter is our uh, governing planet as well. And Jupiter is the happy-go-lucky planet, um, you know, who brings positivity to everything. And uh, so he brings positivity to the success you can expect with, uh, with uh, anything emotional. Really, really important. Okay. And then when it comes to opportunities, pleasure is a really weird word uh, to, to look at opportunities with pleasure, little treasure. So what that means is, before you look into opportunities or before you judge yourself on oh that didn't quite work or, or opportunities are not as 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 great you, you know um, just allow yourself to whatever it is you're doing have the most pleasure there make sure that no matter where, where you are in life and what you do with your life feel joy in what you're doing so before you're asking for new opportunities Ask yourself, how happy am I here, right? And then if you feel like I'm not super happy, right? That's when you manifest change. Really, really important. Remember, we have such great energies for the month of October. So we owe it to ourselves, us Pisceans, <laughs> um, to, to just claim all there is to claim and to acknowledge that we deserve only the best, right? Okie dokie, guys. That's all we have time for. I see you all next month. Bye-bye.